Moshe, you have an incredible story, uh, Casher in the Rye. This is a real book that's available right now, and you talk about your... Actual book. An it's actual right book. there, guys. <laughs> yeah. You talk about your father, uh, ver, uh, Hasidic, is that correct? Am I saying it correctly? Hasidic or just... <laughs> just will do. So That's all I have to say. So I'm Honen. Uh, yeah. Your father's Hasidic. What, what, what was that like for you? Uh, describe that for us, growing up that way. Well, my dad was not Hasidic when we started. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, my parents got divorced, and then I went back to New York six years later to find that my dad had joined up with a group of Hasidic Jews called the Satmar Hasidim, who are the most weird of all the Hasidic Jews. Let me just say that again so that you understand. Of all the fat Amish bearded penguins you see walking around, my father joined up with the group that was among the weirdest and most outside the margins <laughs> of society. The group that had them saying, what's with those guys? Yeah, you know, no. it's, it's like being among the fattest of all Walmart shoppers. It's very difficult. <laughs> Where did he move? What, what part of New York are we talking about here? He moved to a place called Seagate, which is in Brooklyn. Oh, I'll, Brooklyn, okay. I'll tell you how to get there. Uh, if you take the F train to the last possible stop, you get off, walk past Coney Island, past uh, the people of color, past the projects, through a gate, through a time portal to pre-Nazi Europe, <laughs> you will then arrive in Seagate, where people are still using horse-drawn buggy and spitting at redheads because they're bad luck. Sorry, Conan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that... That I've was, never been spit at. Well, not for that reason, yeah. I would, I would do it now, but it's against our religion to do it on national television. <laughs> but that's, I would then go into this community and pretend to be a Hasidic Jew for six weeks a year. I didn't know, I would just be like shucking and jiving like, like me, ah! <laughs> and uh, Al Jolson? Yeah. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> 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 So that's the community that I grew up in. I mean, it was, it was a very intense thing. And then my bar mitzvah came around. And you know how they have, like, some people have themes to their bar mitzvahs? Yeah. Like the Yankees or, or Indiana Jones. And a right. you know, Harrison Ford lookalike will pop out of a cake and whip a pinata. And then a waterfall of golden chocolate coins spills out. Which, by the way, I'm very disturbed by the idea of the golden chocolate coin as the go-to celebratory snack for the Jewish people. Like, are we not concerned with our reputation as Shylocks and money grubbers at all? <laughs> what are people supposed to think when they see us eating money? <laughs> 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 <laughs>